Hello, in this video I set up Epson EcoTank multifunctional inkjet printer. I cover the following in the video and for the product review check the video in the upper right corner. There are similar models with different naming available in different regions, so this setup can be used for all of them. After unboxing you find 101 inks which need to be filled up. Every bottle fits only to the correct ink tank, so you cannot mess up the colors. As all Epson CIS printers fill up in the same way, find more detailed CIS printer ink pouring in the video in the upper right corner. Fill up the inks, close the cover and then it will take a couple of minutes until the printer is ready to continue. After loading the paper I select the proper size and type. Different sizes and different types of paper are supported. Here I select A4 plain paper. Let's put in now the photo paper, printing side is down, I need to adjust the paper guides. Different borderless formats are supported on these models. And select the proper media type. In the next part I connect to Wi-Fi network. Local or direct Wi-Fi network connections are supported. Start the Wi-Fi connect wizard. I select my local network called home and enter the password. Here I show how to access the symbols, small or big letters. Few moments later the printer is connected. Next I download and install the Epson Smart Panel app. You can also use Epson Smart Panel app to set up your printer to Wi-Fi, which I've done in the video in the upper right corner. I select to connect the printer, which is already on the network. You may need to be patient that the printer is found and added to the app. Let's do a quick print. To compare the print and copy speeds, find my full competitor comparison video on user experience, quality and print and copy speeds in the upper right corner of the screen. Let's 
let's check the print and if you find horizontal white lines it means that the print head was not properly aligned. This model supports only manual print head alignment. I do horizontal alignment in this case. A minute later the pattern is printed and I need to enter the proper value based on where printed patterns align. There are Epson Connect services available for remote and cloud printing. You need to create Epson Connect account. I cover this in more details in the video in the upper right corner of the screen. In the last part I install to PC. Download the full setup file. This installation will take much longer than I show in the video and I mostly fast forward the process, showing only the main steps. My printer is already on the network. Select which software to install and start installation. Few minutes later I finally print the test page. The setup also checks the firmware and see how to start update on the screen. After skipping registration the setup has been finished and that would be all in this video. If you find this video useful give it a like and feel free to subscribe to support my channel as it is free and helps me to create more content in the future. Find more about Epson printers in the Ecotank playlist in the description. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye!